Sensing the sentence. Mastering verbs of perception and embedded questions. Hello learners, welcome back. Today, we're going to delve into an exciting aspect of conversational English. Embedded questions. Specifically, we'll focus on verbs of perception used in embedded questions. By the end of this video, you'll be able to comfortably use and understand these verbs in everyday conversation. So, let's get started. Before we delve into how to use these verbs in embedded questions, let's define what we mean by verbs of perception. These are verbs that describe our five senses. See, hear, smell, taste, and touch plus a few more like feel and notice. These verbs help us convey how we experience the world around us. When used in embedded questions, they can help you express curiosity, doubt, surprise, and more. Now let's look at how we use these verbs in embedded questions. Here are some common examples. I wonder if she heard the news? Do you know what it feels like to win? Can you tell me what the pie tastes like? Notice how these verbs of perception, heard, feels, tastes, are used in the second part of the question. That's the embedded part. When constructing embedded questions with verbs of perception, the word order might feel a little tricky at first. But don't worry, practice makes perfect. Here's a simple rule to remember. In embedded questions, we do not use the auxiliary do, did. Instead, the subject comes directly after the verb. For example, instead of saying, do you know what did he see? We say, do you know what he saw? It's important to know that verbs of perception can express different levels of intensity and duration of the experience. For example, glimpse and stare are both related to seeing, but they express different durations and intensities of the action. Similarly, whisper and shout are both related to hearing, but again, they indicate different intensities. Using a variety of these verbs will make your conversations richer and more nuanced. And that's a wrap for today's lesson on verbs of perception and embedded questions. Keep practicing, and soon enough, these embedded questions will become second nature to you. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoying the English language. Happy learning!